welcome to Living with Ataxia. My name is Art Thomas, and I got diagnosed with ataxia in 2022 thanks to Georgetown University Hospital. I'm here to help anyone struggling with ataxia from a person with ataxia. I hope this helps you, and I'm up for any suggestions you may have. This is a computer speaking on behalf of Art since he is having trouble talking right now due to his ataxia. In the future Art plans on talking in other videos. He will also show you what he currently sounds like since his cerebellum damage. Ataxia is a horrible disease and is very rare. If you're not aware of ataxia it is a disease that hinders the cerebellum. My ataxia officially happened when I didn't go to the hospital immediately when having my seizures to help my seizures to stop. To make a long story short I was in the hospital for a while. I don't remember how long, but apparently I was asleep for 12 days. I was asleep in a local hospital by the University of Maryland. I thought I was dreaming when one of the nurses said I was asleep for 12 days. Over a year went by, and I ended up going to Georgetown University Hospital Neurological Department. I was hooked up for 72 hours to an EEG and Georgetown noticed that my cerebellum was significantly damaged due to seizures, and the cerebellum was the weak part of my brain. They informed me it's as if I had a stroke in that part of the brain, and they diagnosed me with ataxia. The doctors at Georgetown were extremely helpful in finding out the exact issue. It's very unfortunate that this happened but in my eyes everything happens for a reason, and you just have to keep moving forward. And then the recovery began. I had an extremely hard time moving. The cerebellum is part of the brain that controls muscle movements such as balance for walking and standing, hand and arm control, speaking, eye movement, and other complex motor functions. During the time of the wheelchair I was having major mental issues. Apparently, my father accidentally gave me some of his prescription drugs, which may have caused a chemical imbalance in my brain. Once I graduated from the wheelchair to the walker I started to do strength exercises that I remembered when I broke my femur. It's a bone you never want to break. After the walker I graduated to the walking sticks I started to walk outside more without assistance. On the walking sticks I walked about 3-4 to four miles a day, which I recorded on my Apple Watch as a workout. When I stopped using the walking sticks I began walking 6 to 7 miles a day according to my Apple Watch. This all happened in less than 2 years. I started with zero balance. Is walking all I do and oh. I do a lot. Sun up to sun down my days consist with numerous workouts trying to get better. The cerebellum does get better, but it will most likely will not be 100% again. It takes a long time to get better but you can't just sit around and do nothing. I recommend going to the gym and pushing yourself. If you stress the nervous system you will get better quicker. I go to the gym three days a week, and the days I don't go to the gym I do home exercises such as push-ups, crunches, planks, leg lifts, etc. Along with walking and going to the gym I do balance exercises every day since my balance is horrible. These exercises take a long time, so you'll have to make time. If you're not aware, the Oculus Quest 2 is a VR headset, and I use Fit XR workouts to help my coordination. Something I highly recommend getting if possible and find a workout you like within Fit XR. Fit XR wants you to stand, but don't. Sit down at all times and have fun. If your ataxia has affected your voice like it did mine do voice exercises every day to help the muscles that control your voice. I can't stress enough, but read out loud any book you'd like. Just keep yourself interested. Since I'm unable at this point to get a speech therapist I have been doing the following voice exercises every day and taking a vitamin E capsule every day which has helped me out tremendously. About 3 years ago I had 14 inches of my colon removed and some of my bladder because an infection that caused fistula. Ever since then the doctor who repaired the fistula said my body will have trouble processing vitamins and one of the vitamins is vitamin E. A multivitamin is just there to fill in the gaps. I started doing these voice exercises a few months into my ataxia. I follow the following voice videos to help my voice. After I complete the videos I read out loud from two pages of a book. I selected. The Wolf of Wall Street by Jordan Belfort. Yeah, I've had a lot of injuries in the past. 
Even though I raced dirt bikes for many years every broken bone besides the collarbone did not come from dirt bikes. The most significant break, the right femur, tibia, fibula, and hip all came from one car accident, a head-on collision. When I say fistula basically my colon and bladder were leaking into each other. It was caused by a massive infection in my colon that ate through into the bladder and caused sepsis. When I got out of the hospital I could not feed myself. It took me about four or five months in order to feed myself. My father had to feed me as if I was an infant. To this day, if my food has to be cut my father has to do it because I don't have good hand control. Currently working on that by using Play-Doh, rolling the Play-Doh with my hand into a hot dog shape, and cutting it with a butter knife. Never give up no matter how frustrating it can be. Don't feel bad if you have issues feeding yourself. I've come to find out that it can be normal with people with ataxia because the cerebellum is damaged which is part of the brain that plays a big role. I have zero income. It's been almost a year since I applied for disability and it's still not approved. My career is in IT, and I cannot work unfortunately. The issues that I have besides speaking is typing on the keyboard. I have to hunt and pack and it's super slow. I really want to help, but I'm at the point to where I would bring down a team and can't help them to my knowledge. It's unfortunate because I think my brain works fine, but this ataxia has been a serious negative. I'm unable to drive so that's out, and I love to drive. I'm unable to work, but I really want to. I've been working for 20 plus years. My career was in information technology, IT. I was an information technology consultant, specialist, director, network slash system engineer and task leader with notable success of over 15 plus years directing and leading a broad range of corporate IT initiatives while participating in the planning and implementation of networking solutions in direct support of business objectives. Help the channel out by pressing that like button, sharing this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. It's all free and thank you. Future videos are coming to help you.